We had a battalion baseball team. I used to play some baseball when I was a kid, high school, uh, American Legion, and whatever. And uh, we had a battalion baseball team made up of officers and enlisted men. I played second base. And my friend who got frightened and got shot up in the water was a pitcher. He was a good pitcher. <clears throat> and we had the we had a battalion baseball team, and we didn't have much time to play. But every once in a while, we, we'd get we had gear. You know, every time we'd get somewhere with enough space, we'd I'd get up a game, challenge the next battalion down the road or something. We'd not much of that. So we had an old boy who was from Harlan County, Kentucky, enlisted man, corporal, corporal or something, was a catcher. He only had two teeth. They'd all been knocked out. Had knife scars all over him. Whether you ever heard of him. Harlan County, Kentucky, is supposed to be the toughest county in the world for fighting. And he caught without a mash, didn't want a mash, but he was a good catcher. So he was also a truck driver for the, with another batter, service batter. And one time I was in position, our guns, we were moving somewhere, we, on the road, and we didn't have time to dig in or establish a perimeter or anything. We just had to stop. We pulled off in a out open space and I told everybody to get under their truck. You know, we didn't have time to dig holes. It was getting late at night. And about that time, here came an ammunition truck delivered to hunting us. And it was this guy driving. And he was drunk. There's 47 hoodows. He'd been on this white lightning that they make over there. He was drunk. And so he started hollering, I am a racer. I'm coming away. I want to get. I said, What was his name? It doesn't matter about his name. Shouldn't give his name anyway. Said, be quiet. We're not. T shut up. But he wouldn't shut up. I said, Come on, get, get under your truck and go to sleep. So he crawled under there and he kept hollering. So I, I, I crawled under there with him to try to keep him quiet because we weren't supposed to be there. <laughs> so about three times he said, well, you're the best second baseman I ever saw or something. And he'd sit up under that truck and hit himself in the head. And I was hoping he'd knock himself out so he'd be, but anyway, he'd find out. <laughs> so that was my baseball experience. Oh, volleyball. We were, had we had a battalion a, a battalion volleyball team, officers team, and they had a listed team too. But I, we we had we had a our battalion commander was about six three. He was Texas A and M boy, good athlete. We had one of the Texas A and M boys about six two. He was on that he was on that world's national champion football team of thirty nine, Texas A and M. All he was all American. And we had oh, then Rich, the guy, the pitcher, the guy in the water. He was six over six feet. They were all spikers. And then we had they had me and another guy about five nine. We were the setup guys, and we had a pretty good team <clears throat> until we ran into the. We had attached to us at one time was a mule pack outfit. They had seventy five millimeter guns that would break. They'd break down and haul them on the back of mules. Well, they, they didn't take those mules overseas, but they were still there. And you had to be over six feet tall just to be in that outfit. Anyway, they beat us. But we had a, every every vehicle, every section, of some vehicle in every section had a volleyball and a net. And any time we'd stop for more than five minutes, we were in all palm trees everywhere. When we'd stop, that net would come up and everybody would be out and we'd start playing volleyball. We'd just in combat, only going and moving. We had a bu good bunch of guys. They were some. <clears throat> Did you try to keep physically active then, for the most part, when you were out in the field and there was nothing going on? We were never much in the field in one place that long. We were very rarely in one spot. The longest I ever stayed in one spot was that place where we had that charge and we were firing interdictory or harassing fire. There wasn't a whole lot going on. But we, no. You got a chance, you took a nap. Man, you had plenty of exercise. There wasn't any, that wasn't a problem. And I can take a nap today, people comment on it. I can lie down anywhere, in a chair, or on the floor, or in a vehicle, and, and go to sleep just like that, and take 15 minutes to wake up just like that. Because I learned that in the Army. You, 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 you take a nap wherever you could, whenever you could, However you could, and, wait, and, you, and when you woke up, you better be alert. So we, 
that's the way I nap today. I just wake up. This is what happens. <laughs> My kids don't understand that. 